vibraphone records in my time. And with, with the conventional vibraphone, you get two SM57s over it, and you turn them down a certain point, and you can't hear anything. And then you turn them up, and all of a sudden, you're like, it's too much, you know. I use this on the record, and I love the sound of the bars. The sound of the bars are very contemporary. Something about the way that these bars recorded, uh, I think it might have something to do with the tuning of the bars being closer to the fundamental pitch as opposed to so many overtones. But that also is a benefit when you're playing out live uh, because you can really crank the mics and you don't get all of those crazy transient frequencies that can make microphones go nuts. But with, with these, I mean, I could just keep riding the faders and getting a really full sound. Honestly, the main reason I made this switch to Majestic is I like the people in the company. When I was at NAMM, I spoke to another very reputable company about possibly repping their instrument. I, I said to the guy, here's my CD, you know, and he said to me, uh, eh, here, you can, you can keep this, I'll probably just lose it. And I thought, well, I don't think I really want to endorse your instrument. Having an endorsement with a company, it's about the whole thing. It's not just about the instrument. It's not just about the profile that the company can afford you. I can grow with this instrument, and I feel like I can grow with the company. The fact that I can place a call and have my thoughts heard, Um, I didn't know much about the instrument, to be honest with you, until I went to NAMM. And even there, I only played a marimba. But I was impressed with the marimba. But now that I've gotten to know the instrument, I see that I can also, without any reservation, fully recommend the instrument to my students and to fellow colleagues.